coming off a, uh, a season um, that was a much different than any season that we've dealt with in the past and, and was really proud of our group last year uh, that they, they were able to, to have themselves ready to um, to play at a high level early on in our season. Um, we have a lot of returners back from that team who understand what it takes to be um, 6 eight competitors um, at, throughout the state and from a football standpoint. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited about our group um, that's coming back. Um, we return 10 starters offensively, six, off, six on defense, um, a, a lot of our specialists. So, um, you know, it's been a fun group to coach because they understand the game. They understand, they understand what we're asking them to do. They, they, um, handle themselves in a professional manner um, in, in the locker room, in the weight room, and they've been um, good role models to a lot of young kids that we have. Uh, yeah, we have Kenton Gerdo, he's an offensive lineman here uh, for, for us, and, and Christopher Jack, uh, CJ Jack, um, is a, a wide receiver, uh, quarterback, running back, specialist. We're coming off a year in which we were uh, in the playoffs, seven and three. Um, and, um, and our expectations have come out and, and with the same intensity we came out with a year ago, um, early on in our season and, and continue to get better. Um, our only stated goal every year is to win a region championship and doesn't change this year. That's our, that's our goal. Um, as we start getting better at having more success as a team, it, it coincides with the best players being the best workers and, and the best character kids and the kids that are, you know, um, that you don't have to worry about if they're going to be at practice. You don't have to worry about what, what they're going to do in the weight room. And um, we have a group where, where some of our best players are our best workers. And, and that's a, that goes a long, long way when it comes to success uh, from a win-loss standpoint. Well, this year, he gave us, I think, one week off after that playoff, that playoff loss. And ever since then, it's just been nothing but hard work and grind. We've been going at it for about six good months since December, and so we just ready to get back at it. Along with what he said, even after uh, the week off, when we came back, we uh, put the work in. Even after practice, after workouts, we'll still meet up, get a bond together, go to the gym, get some money in, get some footwork in, do what we gotta do. You know, leadership, you know, is seen in so many different ways. And CJ is not a guy who talks a whole lot. You, you may never hear him in this locker room, but the way that he carries himself, you know, the guys that have aspirations to be like him see that and, and that's what they have to understand and um, our expectations are to um, to just go out and compete week to week at a high level um, outwork and, and um, match the intensity of every opponent that we play so um, you know we're, we're excited about 2021 for sure